There's, you know, a major transition happening in the built environment today uh, as we shift towards net zero and full scale electrification and heat pumps play a pivotal role in that transformation. So can you explain the benefits of heat pump technology? Heat pumps give us the unique opportunity to completely electrify a home. And we're talking about space conditioning, water conditioning, all of, all of the energy using devices in a home can now be electric. Now that's, that's always been the case, except that conventional heat pumps typically need supplemental heat when the outdoor temperature drops below about 40 degrees. And to me, if you're taking a precious renewable electron and putting it through a resistance heat strip, you're squandering a great resource. Modern heat pumps eliminate that problem. A modern heat pump can take a temperature outdoors as low as negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit and still produce efficient space heating and water heating. And that's where the big difference is. That's technology that didn't exist 20 years ago, 15 years ago, even 10 years ago. And it's the change that's allowing us to think about heat pumps as the solution for everywhere in the country. Again, both space heating and water heating. Heat pump technology has been around for a long time, but we're seeing um, you know, fairly rapid adoption now. And I'd love to hear from you why you think that's happening, uh, partly because of the tech advances, but then also tell us what's happening with respect to uh, builder push and contractor acceptance, and then also uh, consumer demand. When you build a very high performance home and you put a super tight envelope around it, you eliminate sources of infiltration and you capture the air that you want to bring in and exchange heat with the air going out, you've eliminated a huge amount of your heating and cooling loads. When you've done that, you really need a device that is small, efficient, and variable capacity because you're going to want to match the load with the supply of, of heating or cooling. The difference in, con in current heat pump technology versus conventional is that it's perfectly able to match those loads, to ramp up and down and condition within a very tight temperature band and give the occupants the maximum comfort possible and do it in any kind of a climate from the hottest day to cold winter day of, of temperatures below zero degrees Fahrenheit. This is what a current state-of-the-art heat pump can do that conventional heat pumps have not been able to do. You're typically looking at a one-size-fits-all, one speed or off, and a system that has to use electric strip heat when you drop below 40 degrees. Obviously, those kinds of systems aren't gonna contribute to an efficient future and eliminating strip heat is the first priority as we electrify our, our economy. If you can use a heat pump and extract four times the usable energy versus the energy that you're putting into the system, now you're conserving your renewable electrons and maximizing their benefit for society. Thank you. At Green Builder Media, we're really focused on the full scale decarbonization of uh, the entire economy, but particularly the built environment. And as you know, that really um, takes into account um, uh, not just getting to net zero operations, which as you know, really focuses on the operations of buildings, but um, to net zero carbon. So can you tell us about what Mitsubishi is doing to help get to net zero carbon and decarbonization and how heat pump technologies really help to future-proof our homes? When you invest in a new heating and air conditioning system for your home, you're making a decades long decision and you have the opportunity today to purchase systems that have a lifespan that is going to minimize your replacement cost. You have the opportunity to buy a device that's going to operate at extremely high efficiency for 15 to 20 years. 
And in so doing, you've made maximum use of the technology and in effect, future-proofed your home. A high-performance home is typically gonna be built with long life materials. The idea of taking carbon out of our economy starts at the construction process itself. And if we're using materials and technologies that have to be replaced periodically, that's detracting from our goal. So in my personal experience in having built a zero energy home, I set the target of 30 year lifespan for as many of the components as possible. And I believe we were able to achieve that throughout the, the entire construction with very, very resilient materials like standing seam metal roof. The siding is low maintenance, high life, and the heat pump technology itself. When you buy a system for your home, you're, you're making an investment that you're gonna live with for 10, 15, even 20 years. You want a technology that's going to live that long and provide you a high level of service for that period of time. Modern heat pumps can deliver that kind of performance. And in effect, you're future-proofing your home while eliminating a great deal of carbon that would be required if you had to replace those systems. What is Mitsubishi currently doing to help builders and contractors understand the importance of shifting to heat pump technology? And what would you have the builders and the contractors and other building professionals in our audience understand about Mitsubishi and about your HVAC system? One of the challenges of building a high performance home is the heating and cooling load profiles look very different from a conventional home. You've squeezed so much of the waste out of the system that you're talking about a very small residual load and you need some special techniques to properly size the HVAC system that you're gonna use. Recognizing this, we've fielded a team of building science experts who are working with architects and builders all around the country specific to the environment and the climate conditions that they're operating in and walking through with them the process of designing, specifying, and selecting the perfect system for their needs. Fortunately, there's a wide variety of variable speed systems that can meet virtually any need in the home, breaking it down all the way to a room by room approach that gives the occupants specific comfort conditions for the exact spaces that they're occupying, not, not the whole home, but actually room by room. And we're very proud to be optimizing personal comfort, and it's especially feasible to do in a high performance home. Is there any particular message that you would have our builder and contractor audience relay to their consumer buyers, to home buyers, um, or uh, homeowners that are remodeling their homes. Um, any particular talking points that you'd have them relay that are just simple and easy uh, that you feel like could convert uh, consumers to, to really understanding heat pump technology better? We'd like homeowners to think about heat pumps in a whole new light. This is a device that's going to be able to deliver a high level of comfort on a room by room basis. It's going to be able to do that in a very cold climate while still delivering a very high temperature supply air. So you're gonna feel that nice warm feeling in the house, unlike some conventional heat pumps where the temperature seems to be a little cool because the air coming out of the duct is below our body temperature. That problem has been overcome. And you can do all that with a device that's gonna use less energy than a conventional heat pump has, has been able to perform at in the past. So you really get the benefits of better comfort, lower energy cost, and a long life device that's gonna serve you well for your home ownership experience. And my final question is just simply, is there anything else you'd like to say? We're pleased to be in the forefront on the space heating and cooling side, and very excited to be launching some air to water products that are gonna provide similar solutions on the water heating side. Uh, very excited to, to see what you have coming down. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you as well.